months ago. Um, I haven't bought any new gear lately, um, but I did pick up this guitar. This is a Harley Benton CST24HB. This is a semi-hollow body. So this uh, this came from, oh, sorry, sorry, it's built in China. It ships out of Germany from Solman uh, uh, Music Stores. There's a ton of videos um, on YouTube uh, that are you know showing all these Harley Benton guitars. Um, there's a couple of videos on this one, um, Henny Polly's channel. Uh, Nick in the States has one. Um, anyway, uh, you know I, I watched a few of the videos. I have lots of Les Pauls and uh, Strat style bodies, right? So I wanted something. I don't own a PRS, um, and this is a PRS style, I believe. So uh, I saw the guitar on um, a couple of YouTube channels, and I really liked the look of it. And uh, the, you know, everybody's raving how good these are. So uh, I ended up ordering it December the 3rd, and it came on December the 23rd. So yeah, it took a little while. Uh, left Germany right away and then kind of sat in limbo until I got to Canada for at least a week, if not longer, and then customs. And So anyway, this guitar was 200 and, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, 200 and something euro. So with exchange, because our Canadian dollars in the toilet, it worked out to be with the, it also had to pay, the very first time I had to pay a customs uh, duty on a guitar coming across. Um, so that was another, uh, I think, 50 bucks. So, and in the end, I'm in about, I think, $350, um, maybe 380 total for this thing. Um, still a great deal for this guitar. Um, like I said, it uh, showed up, um, the box looked like it got hit by a truck. <laughs> and I've seen a few videos of guys unboxing these, and uh, I don't know what these guys do when they ship them, but they're, uh, must play football or something, but anyway, um, all was good. Guitar came, uh, you know, in one piece. Um, mahogany body, um, 
uh, rosewood fretboard. Hoggy neck. It does have, now I know the guys are saying they have scarf joints. They do have a heel joint, but I cannot see the scarf joint in this guitar. I don't know why. Maybe it's, I guess it's, it's a, uh, oh, you know what? Maybe right here. Maybe there's one here, sorry. A Volute. Um, nice tuners. Um, really work well. Um, Wilkinson pickups. I'm not sure what model they are. Uh, wraparound tailpiece with, uh, does have a little bit of an intonation adjustment on it, so you can adjust it slightly, uh, which is nice. Um, the guitar came exactly the way it is. It has uh, the original strings on it, and I have not touched the neck. I have not touched the height of the strings. It came perfectly set up for me. Um, so I can't complain. Uh, so I've, I've, you know, I've had it for a few days now and uh, really, really love it. It's a really nice playing guitar. Sounds great. Um, I'm playing through uh, my Rapoli um, 100 watt Plexi Clone Head um, through a 412 Marshall with green backs in it. And I'm running a um, Echo 616 uh, analog delay and a uh, Holy Grail Weaver pedal. And uh, it was punching in the Bad Monkey for a little bit of overdrive. So that's what's running through the amp um, right now. So the Plexi's cranked at mm, 8. So uh, it's dirty, but uh, I can roll this back and it actually cleans up pretty nice. <laughs> It's a much warmer sounding. I have a Epiphone Florentine, which is also a, a Les Paul style, or Les Paul body, sorry, with F holes, uh, solid block uh, mahogany down the middle, and uh, semi uh, acoustic, or semi electric, and um, it uh, has that same warm sound to it. Um, they're not quite as bright as, uh, as a full mahogany body, but uh, anyway, it's. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I mean, you could easily play this for metal if you want to, I guess, but uh, more of a rocky, jazzy, blues guitar, I guess, right? coming from the tubes. Um, I'll just kick in that. That's without, and this is with the Bad Monkey. quick look at it, uh, just doing a quick video. Um, hope everybody's doing okay. Like I said, it's been a while since I did a, a, um, a vid. So, um, but anyway, there it is, uh, the back, uh, nice brown back. Um, I believe it's a two-piece body. Yeah, right here, it's a joint. So, um, you know, they're, supposedly, uh, Solomon picks the, the factories that he makes these guitars, and that's why the quality's better than uh, some of the other ones. But um, anyway, uh, as you can see, it's got a beautiful top. Um, this is a tortoise shell finish. Um, nice flame on it. Uh, you know, some of the ones I've seen, 
you know, they're... And this one is a little mismatched. Well, it is book match, but it, it seems like the flame's not consistent throughout the whole body, which is okay. It's its own, uh, gives its own uniqueness. Um, but I really like the wraparound tail bridge, tail piece, and uh, um, the, the, the actual quality of the build is excellent. Like, I cannot find uh, anything wrong with the finish on this one at all. Um, frets are done really well. The intonation, like I said, is, is spot on. Um, the guitar plays wonderful, um, and it sounds great. And hopefully the camera picks it up. You guys can, you know, at least uh, hear what it sounds like. Um, but anyway, uh, there it is. Um, again, if you have any questions or any comments, I'll, uh, I'll leave the link to the uh, to the store if you guys are looking to buy it. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, happy new year, everybody.